Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! All right, Sabrina Matias calls out cowardly Teofimo Lopez and tells his daddy to shut up talking that ish. Let's speak on it. He was on his own uh, boxing show with Matchroom or whatever. And he said that the Teofimo Lopez offer was a pump fake offer. He said they sent the offer because they know he just fought. It wasn't going to be ready. That they wasn't serious about fighting. And he also said that uh, the daddy needed to talk so much. Stop talking so much ish and make sure he get his son to the ring. So uh, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. So, um, hum diddy, hum diddy. Um, hey, it is what it is. Um, most people felt felt the same way. Matias said that he had a hand injury, and most people were shocked that Tiafima Lopez called Sabrina Matias out after out of nowhere. You know. Uh, sent him an offer. Matias came on camera, said his hand was hurt, and said, now he's saying T.O. only sent the offer because he knew he wasn't 100%. So, um, that is what it is, bro. Um, uh, and he said that they could do it in March or April or whatever. He can change the date. But apparently, T.O. been locked in to that Super Bowl Thursday, Thursday before the Super Bowl date. For quite some time, most people feel like Matias is the 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 uh, boogeyman of the division. Now, I believe Tiafima Lopez was there when he fought. Yeah, he was there when he fought. I think he fought on the Andrade and Benavidez card, and he said he. Had, I think he said on the Porterway podcast he had beat him in a few rounds or his easy work or whatever. Um, it's easy work, so. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, T.O. then took on challenges. The only challenge that he really ain't took on uh, that people wanted to see him take on was Devin Haney. They could build that up. I don't know. But, uh, you know, Matias, you know, everybody between T.O. and Devin looking for big fights. And with T with uh, Sabrio not being a big name, I just feel like that's going to be a way for them not to fight them. But Dennis, you know, size of the streets. He said he from the west side was unnamed. You must be two sides. <laughs> Rest in peace of Shorty Low. Uh, you know, so, you know, they on different sides of the streets. You know, I don't know if they would negotiate a deal with uh, Sabrina Matias to fight T.F. and Lopez. Will he pri price himself out? But, you know, people going to really use the size of the streets. And he with PBC, he, he a tough out. He a real tough out. You know, uh, he got lost on his resume, but that ain't nothing. People had off nights. He came back and avenged it and stopped the guy even sooner. Um, you know, had Alberto Puello not popped hot, him and Puello would have been a barn burner, to be honest. That would have been a hell of a unification clash. But Puello popped hot, you know. Um, T.S., he got, you know, could take a shot. Got, you know, he got good conditioning, you know. Step it up, it's a fight going on. You fight a guy like that. Either you, you got to hurt him, um, and I think you got to work the body. You got to take his legs from him. If you sitting there head hunting, and you ain't a really good body snatcher, you know what I'm saying? And if you can keep him at the end, of this, the problem is keeping him at the end of your shots if you're a boxer. You know, that's the problem. Because he's going to find his way on the inside. So if you catch him on the end of your shots, you got to touch the body to take the air out the tires. He wants you He want you to shoot to the head. But the problem with, you know, guys that take a lot of head punishment is that eventually your body has a neurological calm, especially your head. So when you rely on your chin so much, at one point it's it's, it's, it's gonna give out. So, but if I'm if I'm a fighter, you know, I'm 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 working his body early and often. I'm taking this I'm taking the air out the tires. That way, down the stretch, he can't really step it up like he want to step it up. And I think that's kind of what happened with Devin Haney and Lomachenko. Side note: with Devin did all the body work. When Lomachenko had to have a 12th to close it out, um, I think that body work, you know, uh, what took what really helped helped him come on strong. And I think that was a mistake that T.O. made versus Lomachenko. He but he was up so so hard so high, so uh, he was up by so much that had he kind of did more body work to Lomachenko, um, it would have took the air out the tires, 
That way, Lomachenko probably couldn't have stepped it up down the stretch. So when you're dealing with guys like Julio Cesar Chavez and, and, and you know, better be and those type of guys who like to, like, get stronger as the fight go on, the Bracama Brasilios, the Jake Lamadas, and all that stuff, who can really take, you know, good head punishment, the Marvin Hagler's, what you really want to do is target the body. You want to you want to target the body that way down the stretch in the championship rounds, you know what I'm saying? That way they can't really take it to that next gear, you know. Um, you know, the Madonnas and all that type of stuff. You really want to work, work the body. So if T.F. Lopez can't hurt him to the head and he's not going to work the body, it's going to be a tough fight for him because T.O. like to control the pace, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing about T.F. Lopez. He like to control the pace. And Matias, like, you know, Matias, as the fight goes on, he controls the pace in the real estate. So, but the thing about T.O., he a, he a, he a power-punching counter-puncher. So, if Matias, you know, if you hit me, if he catches Matias with a shot he don't see coming, he can hurt him. But I think him, I think he would have to have a game plan going to his body. But down in the, in that, that fight, gonna really get, you know, T.O. might be able to jump out and win the first four to six rounds. But that fight really gonna get really gonna get ugly around the middle of the seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth round, where if T.O. conditioning ain't up to point, he gonna be in a lot of trouble. So, you know, um, will T.O. fight him? Probably not. You know, if he could plan, if he won't fight, you know, Ryan Garcia for a certain amount of money, because they don't know how to fight gonna sell on pay per view, he he probably only looking for a certain amount of dollar amount. So, why you know go out there? You know, even though it's unification, take that risk, make less money. You can fight Devin Haney, make a bunch of money, you know, and probably not take as much as the punishment and the, the risk. So, Matias is going to be ducked. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, yeah, he's going to be ducked. And the, and the thing about him is him better BF, um, you know, them type of guys are bringing pressure fighters back. And the thing about it is it ain't a bunch of those guys walking around. You know what I'm saying? Guys, you know, that they, they can walk, you know, that bring pressure that's gonna close the gap on you and, and make you fight in close quarters. There ain't too much of those guys left around. So, you know, they hard they hard to compete with. Especially he melanated too, so he got a little bit of sauce with it. You know, you know, so you know, a lot of people ain't gonna wanna really mess with that, but uh, I don't think T.O. gonna fight him anytime soon in my opinion um you know i don't think so i don't blame him um you know dude tough dude tough you know what i'm saying but i think t.o can get him but if t.o if t.o power don't keep him at bay his counter punching power don't keep him at bay he better work the body because if he don't work the body down the stretch with t.s gonna probably pull off and probably gonna pull off against him t.o ain't a, ain't a high condition fighter he one of them fighters that control the pace you know what I'm saying? Like, you see Earl Spence, you know, most of his fights, he able to step it up, step it up, especially in his prime. He gets stronger as the fight go on. The Charlos, they're able to step it up, step it up, step it up. You know what I'm saying? You know, the longer Canelo go is not, you know, the, a lot of times the less likely a knockout happen. Now, obviously, he knocked out Caleb Plant late, you know, whatever. But, you know, you got guys that's just steady. You know, Mayweather, you know, steady, you know, can he more about controlling at this, you know, Money made was more about controlling the pace. Younger, you know, he had great legs and he can box all night. As he got older, it's just more about controlling the pace. You know, Crawford, he's another guy. You know, he gets stronger as the fight going on, but he more about controlling the pace. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tyson Fury is more, he gets, you know, he get more his condition. He's more of a condition fighter. You know, he in it for the long haul. You know, you got some guys that's in it for the, First few minutes, Mike Tyson, but most, 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 most of those pressure fighters, the great ones, you know, Hagler could do it all, but most guys like Hagler, um, most guys like Hagler, uh, uh, Brasilio, uh, Lamada, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., they get stronger as the fight go on. You know, it might start off slow, the majority, but as the fight go on, they pick it up, 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 pick it up. You know, most of those guys started Madonna. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You know, most of them guys, just Brandon Rios was another guy. You know, early on, be getting his face beat in. But a boy, you bet, as soon as you drop off a little bit, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. So that's pretty much what great pressure fighters do. They're able to pick it up as the fight go on. So if T.O. don't hurt him and don't, 
or or you know take the air out the tires that's a dangerous fight but i don't really see them taking that fight especially he's talking about he want a certain dollar amount and matias is, is high risk low reward you know you know and maybe it's some, maybe it's some truth and i would tend to believe it's some truth to where you know they they for the most part they pretty much uh i think they basically sent that offer for publicity knowing that he wasn't going to be ready. He probably even knew he had a hand injury. So, you know, hey, you know, but it was some talks behind the scenes that possibly they can get it done for Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend this uh this year. So, hey, hey, I think that's right around the International Boxing Hall of Fame. That'd be uh that'd be that'd be a great weekend to do so, but yeah, Matias popping his shit, you know. And uh and, and right now he got to go for it. In my opinion, at this point, he got to go for it. So, um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button is the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, we go live and drop video financially, you want to support the channel, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description, hit the link tree, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine, appreciate y'all, check out the Boxing News playlist, find the Interviews on YouTube, his own channel, and also I read it on uh, boxingscene.com. Peace.